Hello, my middle school friends. Okay, today we are going to continue with the law of conservation of energy. Our last lesson, in case you didn't remember, our last lesson, um, I asked you to look at when energy is transferred um, and how it gets converted into other kinds of energy, like when you throw a ball into the air. Um, in the air, when it's paused, it has potential energy, and when it it has and when it moves, it has kinetic energy. Um, but this one in our notebook here says throw a ball into the air. So the throwing is the kinetic energy, and then when it pauses, when it's up, whoop, pauses when it's up, it's potential energy. So then I asked you to fill in all of these, and I did a video, and we reviewed those answers. So. All right, so energy changes. Well, there's this awesome universal law that scientists know all about, and it's called the law of conservation of energy. And you know, like a law is an always thing, right? So this is always true. Um, at least it hasn't been proven wrong yet, but I mean, prove it wrong. Get rich. Why not? Why not? Okay, so our learning target is I understand that energy can be transferred from one system to another and conserved in a closed system. That means like within one thing. So if you're talking about the energy in a bicycle, that means like all the gears and the pedals and all of that. That's a system, okay? Or the energy in a human, like everything that's going on in a human, breathing, wiggling, cells moving, changing, that's one system. Okay, but clearly every system is attached to every other system because my body is a system, right? But it's also touching the air in here, right? And my sound is actually bouncing off walls in here, right? And so there's a whole other system in the classroom of air circulating, right? And that air circulating is interfering with the system of the walls holding up the building, which are touching. So whatever is touching anything else really is the boundary of a system. Okay, so um, we're going to look at um, a few things as systems, and we're going to refer to them as like objects. All right, so today we're going to look at the law of conservation of energy. Say it with me, law of conservation of energy. And this particular law says the law of conservation of energy states that energy is conserved in a closed system and energy cannot be created or destroyed. So like you can't make energy out of nothing. I mean, if you could, that would be amazing, but humans haven't figured out how to do it anywhere, ever, and neither has any other organism make energy out of nothing. You have to have atoms to start with. So um, it also, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So like you can't destroy it either. Like um, I could destroy this pen, right? But I could like break it in little pieces, but are all the pieces still there? Uh-huh. Are they connected? No, but are the pieces still there? Uh-huh. Do they exist? Uh-huh. Did the atoms that make this pen still exist? Uh-huh. So you can't destroy energy. What happens is it just moves from one thing to another. It just transforms. So today um, is actually a really cool day. I have to look at our schedule because there's kind of a cool thing to talk about here. So, um, so today um, you are going to watch a little video clip that explains conservation of energy better, more creative than Mrs. Tomlinson, okay? Then you're going to watch a clip that, um, again, explains the conservation of energy, but in a different way. They're both really short. Then you're going to watch um, a funny clip about conservation of energy with a bowling ball that's swinging, and it's actually pretty humorous. So don't miss it. Don't skip these steps. Um, the last video that I'm going to ask you to watch is a little clip from Wallace and Gromit. Now, I don't know if you know who Wallace and Gromit are, but they are like claymation cartoon kind of characters. They're a cartoon, and they're super fun to watch, and they have an English accent, but um, it's a guy and his dog, and they're like inventor inventors, or they are investigators, and they make really cool machines. So in our last lesson, I made you watch um, a machine that changed like eggs into toast and um, sausage, and there were all kinds of different forms of energy that got breakfast to the table in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which, watch the movie, it's kind of cool and also creepy and fun and cool too. <laughs> Not a plug for the movie, but I really liked it, and you might enjoy it. Um, and pandemic is a perfect time to watch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, Wallace and Gromit 
Um, I have a really famous movie called The Curse of the Were Rabbit, and in the beginning of it, um, when uh, when they get up for breakfast, there's a whole bunch of contraptions they go through to get dressed, and it's really fun to watch. So watch for the conversions of energy. Here's kinetic, here's potential, here's electric, here's gravitational, here's elastic. Okay, so watch for those forms of energy as um, they get dressed and ready for breakfast. It's pretty great. Today, you're going to kind of play a game and do kind of a lab activity that will help you um, understand the conservation of energy. I know this seems like a really long lecture. So you're going to start your notebook, page 32, so it looks like this. And then you're going to make sure that you do the actual activity. You're going to kind of sort some cards and put them together kind of like dominoes to make a model to show that energy really just cycles from one thing to another, one thing to another, one thing to another, kind of just transforms the type of energy in the world, and it just moves from one thing to another in the whole universe. The universe! That's big. Okay, so um, you, when you're done with your lab, you're either going to fill in your energy conver conversion chart and put it in here, okay? And please, if you get confused with your energy conversion chart, Look in the resources document. There could be answers in there. And, or, draw a few cards that show how energy is transformed from one object or item to another using arrows. So basically, you're just showing how energy is transferred from one item to another. Put three to five items, get a good diagram going in here that shows um, labels and pictures of things that can exchange energy through energy transformations. Like energy is transferred when a lamp is plugged into the wall, then electricity goes into the lamp, right? And when the light's turned on, then the electricity turns into light energy and heat energy. Well, where does that go, right? Can it be used for something? What can heat or light energy be used for? Well, light energy can be used for solar powered things, right? So it just kind of keeps going and going and going and you need to keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going.